Would you like to set up a buy now, pay later option on your forms? Let me show you how with payment authorization. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for payment authorization. So we're going to touch on a few different nuances in this video, but definitely check out this landing page for even more information. Now, before we get started, I want to show you that there are a few different payment integrations that recognize this payment authorization. And right down here, we can see it is PayPal Personal, PayPal Business, PayPal Pro, Authorize.net, Square, Stripe, Braintree, Cybersource, and eWay. So if you want to use any of those, your users will be able to buy now and pay later. And I definitely want to show you a little bit of the nuances with this because each payment gateway has a little bit different verbiage in what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and jump over to JotForm. I'm going to create a new form in the top left-hand corner, starting from scratch on the classic form. Then on the left-hand side, I'm going to bring in the full name and the email. Then we need to choose that payment gateway. So just to get started, I'm going to choose the PayPal personal. Then over on the right-hand side, under additional gateway settings, we can scroll down and right here, this is going to be the buy now pay later for PayPal personal. This will allow them to complete the form and then you get to authorize that charge at a later time. So let's go ahead and remove PayPal personal and we will add PayPal business. We can go ahead and scroll down to additional gateway settings. See right here, it says charge customer later. So the credit card will be authorized after the form is submitted. You can manually charge the card later and that grace period is three days. So we can turn that on, perfect. So let's go ahead and get rid of PayPal business. Let's go ahead and try Stripe's additional settings. And then we see it right here, charge customer immediately. We can turn that off and that will allow us to charge them through Stripe at a later time. Go ahead and get rid of that. Let's try Braintree, remember that being one of them. We'll go ahead and scroll down to the additional gateway settings. And then here, just like PayPal personal, we have that authorization only. Now, as far as completing their purchase and charging their card, definitely check out the article that goes along with this video because there's going to be some platforms like PayPal or eWay that's going to finalize the purchase within their own platform. But there are also some that are gonna be able to complete this process from your JotForm table. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about PayPal, payment authorizations, allowing your users to buy now and pay later, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.